Hey everyone, welcome back. We have another tutorial today and in today's tutorial, we're going to be going over how to take our database collection that we just made in Bravo, which came from Airtable. And we're going to start taking different data from our database and start replacing elements in our application and design. Now in Bravo, this is called data binding and it's really quite easy to do and Bravo makes it very simple. So let's jump onto the computer. I'll show you folks how to do this and let's get started. So what we're going to do is go back to our projects. You're going to select the app that you want to connect the data to. So I have my recipe app here. Now in here you should see your three different screens. We're going to start off with the home screen. So if I click on my home screen here. Alright, so now that we have our home screen selected, we can go ahead and start binding data to it. So right over here in the number one, we're going to have to select our request. So first we're going to select our data collection here. So we do the drop down, it's going to be the My Recipes app. <clears throat> now the second one we're going to do a request. Now this one is our home page. And remember in our home page, we want the list of recipes. So we're not, we don't want the details, right? We don't want the instructions and everything. We just want to create our list. So we're going to hit the list request here. So now Bravo knows which information to pull. Now we need to tell Bravo what element on our home screen is it going to duplicate for each item in our list. And that's going to be this recipe section here. Let me make this a little wider. So if we select recipe here, you'll see on the right side here, it's going to give us the option to uh, bind a certain element. So in this drop down where it says none, we're going to select records. This tells Bravo, look at our records, see how many different recipes we have and create one of these elements for each of those recipes. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is make sure that for each one of those uh, elements it creates that it has the correct image and name attached to it. Now remember how in the design I added those two stars. If you look right over here, you can see those two stars are shown here. And again, this is just a tip that I use that makes it really easy to know what items to select in Bravo uh, because we can't visually see what we're selecting like we do in Figma. Uh, it's easier when I add those two stars. So we'll do the name first. We select that, come to the right side here. We're going to have to select which um, data point to connect it to. So in this drop down, you're going to have all the different things we can connect it to. Now you're going to see a lot of different thumbnails and images. Um, just know that this is Airtable's way of selecting different sizes of the image, uh, but we're only going to need to use one. But for this one, because it's recipe name, we're going to select recipe name. Now for recipe photo down here, again, a bunch of different thumbnails and things are going to pop up. Just know that you can select recipe image URL. Um, and that's the one you can select if you're going to be selecting and using images. So with this setup here, we should be able to open up our app and this will populate for each one of those recipes that we have. So in this case, we should have three. Now we have one more screen that we need to do so we can hit back and we're going to go ahead and go to our detail screen here. Again, similar to how we did on the home screen, we're going to select the My Recipe uh, collection, My Recipes app. And then for the request, we're not going to select list. This time we're going to select detail. And now we need to tell Bravo what to fill in for each one of these things. So remember, I have a recipe one in my header here. Again, the two stars. I can hit this drop down. I'm going to select recipe name. In the content area, I have the photo, which I'll connect to the photo. And in this instructions area, I have the recipe instructions right over here. So I'm just selecting what data I want to replace that information 
on my app screen. And there you go. Now you have all that information coming from your database from Airtable. And now we're able to go ahead and change those different elements in our app. Now we have one more tutorial left. And in that tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can actually make your app feel a little bit more premium with some animations. And we'll go ahead and I'll show you how to do that in the next tutorial.